we have understood uh, that you are so blissful by just seeing you and hearing you talk. Uh, but uh, going through the history, we find it so rare. Why is it so rare that we get to enlighten people? It is not rare, it is just that a lot of them are not famous, that's all. They just quietly lived blissfully. It's not rare. You, there's substantial history in this country where every generation saw any number of enlightened beings in the past. Today it is rare because, see suppose you… Uh, you went to just the outskirts of Chennai hundred years ago, it would be rare to find a person who can read a, a Tamil letter, forget about an English letter, yes? If you walked into a village, you had to search the whole village to get one man who can read a Tamil script, local language, not even a foreign language. Today if you go there, almost hundred percent everybody can read Tamil, at least sixty percent, I believe, at least fifty percent can read English language, yes? Why did this happen? Because there's infrastructure, isn't it? There's infrastructure of education, so it happened. Unfortunately, in the past, there was phenomenal infrastructure in this country for inner well-being. This is the only society which built a lot of infrastructure for inner well-being. But today there's very little infrastructure. So this is one of the commitments that we have for the world, that we want to build infrastructure where it's purely for inner well-being of the human being. Because there is no infrastructure for human consciousness. That's the reason why it's not happening. Here and there one man could read in the past. Why? Because there was no infrastructure. If that man has to go to school, he has to travel hundred kilometers, so he did not go. That whole village did not go, only one guy went somehow. So the same now, if you have to know something about yourself, you have to go to Vellangiri Hills, Isha Yoga Center, you never made it, isn't it? You went. You are those ardent ones. So I'm saying if there was that kind of infrastructure in every street, in every street there was infrastructure for inner well-being beyond faith, beyond religion, beyond denominations, just as… as there is a milk booth, you understand? As there is a milk booth, as there is a public tap, I won't talk about toilets, <laughs> there aren't any <laughs> So as there is a milk booth, as there is a public tap, as if you want a… Autoric site is there, just like that, if you want to turn inward, there must be infrastructure in the society, isn't it? If there is no infrastructure, how will you produce those people? You will not produce them. That's what is missing, we need to put that back.